Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a hadith uh, it's called in the science of ulum al hadith muttafaqun alayh completely agreed upon like a consensus by al Bukhari and Muslim and all other narrators. So the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam ahlu al Islam afdal qal man salim al Muslimun min lisanihi wa yadih. Now literally the translation could be as such saying. Ya Rasulullah, which Islam is the best? The meaning which Islam is the best is which is the best thing in Islam to be done? In case if I'm a Muslim and I have a limitation of time and I have tens of beautiful wanted things and I have a limited time to do the best thing, what is the best thing to do in Islam, Ya Rasulullah? قال من سلم المسلمون من لسانه ويده it's the person whom the Muslims around him has been saved from his tongue and his hand. Look how brief it was. Man salim al Muslimun. Muslims would be saved. They are in peace, fully saved from his tongue and his hand. Now, the tongue includes many things, such as backbiting, lying. Uh, hatred, you know, envy, all of the, which destroys a lot of things. So it's not an easy thing. And you know, in Islam, and a very famous other hadith, hadith of Mu'ad, radiallahu anhu, kana ma'a Rasulullah, he was with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, listening to something, then Mu'ad said, Ya Rasulullah, awa nahnu mu'akhaduna bima natakallamu bihi. Ya Rasulullah, are we accountable for what we say? You know, we are just uttering, you know, blah, 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 it just talks. This is what Mu'ad thought. It's just, you know, just I'm talking. So, am I accountable for it? أَنَحْنُ مُؤَخَّرُونَ بِمَا نَتَكَلَمُ بِهِ قَالْ ثَكِلَتْكَ أُمُّكَ يَا مُعَاذ وَهَلْ يَكُبُّ النَّاسَ فِي النَّارِ عَلَى مَنَاخِرِهِمْ أَوْ قَالَ عَلَى وُجُوهِهِمْ إِلَّا حَصَائِدُ أَلْسِنَاتِهِمْ The classical translation for ثَكِلَتْكَ أُمُّكَ It's well unto thee or well to you. In our simple language, it says, How, what, what are you saying? <laughs> Definitely, you are accountable. Do you think that there is anything other than the harvest and the fruit of your tongue, the fruit of the tongue, that will throw the people in the hellfire and the day of judgment more than what they, what comes out of their tongues, which means what comes from here, is classified as top priority dangerous elements that we are accountable for. So you have to come to 10, I have to come to 100 before I say something. Am I hurting? Am I saying the truth? Am I destroying? Am I dividing the people? Am I, you know, conveying something? Am I, am I uncovering the privacy of some people? You know, tens of problems. So this is the first. Now, the next part called, his hand. Now, literally, the hand, this is the hand, which means the physical power. This is the literal meaning, which is the bottom line of the meaning. Muslims should be saved from my physical power. If I'm so powerful, I'm not supposed to, you know, like bullying at school, like, you know, if I'm so powerful, which is the basic. Now, the word hand is used as well for any kind of power, any kind of authority. I can, by my authority, my power, in Arabic language, we say flan ido tayle, or ido tuile, or ido wasle. We say he has a very long hand, metaphorically speaking, majaz, which means he can do a lot of things just by a telephone. Ah, marhaba sa'adtak, marhaba atuftak, your excellency, bitti flan trabbu. Okay, hadar. Immediately he's in jail. Okay, this is power, authority. This is one of the power. I have a problem with you for whatever reason. I hate you, you hate me. Okay. I have a tribe behind me. I have relatives. I can talk with them. They will make your life hell. You don't deserve it. Okay, I hate you, you hate me. But what I'm doing now, I'm transcribing it. Okay? I'm using the power of my against you. This is completely haram. So, the conclusion. Since uh, in Ramadan, alhamdulillah, we have more uh, you know, numbers listening, this is a good opportunity, good opportunity to know better about our Islam.
because at the end, respect the brothers and sisters, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said clearly to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, We have not sent you back to every single person on earth. So we are the representatives of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we are messengers for everyone else. And subhanallah, by the will of Allah, the fact that we are living in a non-Muslim country, this duty will be much more <laughs> important. If the majority around you are Muslims, may maybe you will say, okay, uh, but now, now, you can't. <laughs> we are minority here in terms of majority are non-Muslims. So they must see part of the true Islam, or otherwise we are accountable. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah, rahmatullah, wa ta'ala, assalamu alaykum.